We will get through this. We will get through this. We will get through this. I just want to give a huge shout out to all of our first responders out there, our law enforcement, firefighters, EMS, men and women who are going out every day, putting their lives on the line and risking even more now with this virus going on. Thank you guys so much for what you do. It's important to stay safe and I hope that everybody stays healthy and we can all get through this together. I would first off like to thank all of the essential employees out there, like my parents, who continue to work day in and day out through the pandemic. I wanted to take this special moment to thank all those teachers out there. Now, I'm getting married to one and I get to see how hard she's working day in and day out with all this remote learning going on. So for all you USA Hockey members that are teachers, that know teachers, that have teachers and your friends and family, thank you so much for the work you're putting in during this. Personal shout out first to uh, CrossFit Optimistic. It's a small business locally here in San Antonio. Uh, Michael Martinez, Angela Martinez. They're one of the backbones uh, here. Uh, because of them, they were able to still let me and everyone else, the members, to borrow all the equipment from the ropes to the uh, barbells to the uh, wall balls, plates, and everything for me to still continue to train. I'm a senior in college, and to all my other fellow seniors, uh, even if you're in high school, I know losing the last semester of school really stinks, and online classes aren't that great, but it's a sacrifice we all need to make. Making Team USA became a goal of mine shortly after losing my leg six years ago. That goal pushed me through some of my toughest days and kept me focused when things seemed out of my control. Though the current situation may seem overwhelming and unending, having goals and maintaining a productive routine is more important now than ever. Together, we will get through this. To all of the medical personnel and first responders, thank you for your tireless efforts. We are forever indebted to you. I want to say a huge thank you to CrossFit OC3 for letting myself and the members bring home equipment during these tough times so we can work out at home. And a shout out to our nurses and doctors who are on the front lines during these tough times fighting this virus. I know currently we've been going through some difficult times, but I just wanted to urge everybody to stay positive and to stay connected. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to all those nurses out there that are working around the clock during this crisis. I know these times are difficult, but together we can get through this. I encourage everyone to stay connected to their friends and family. I've been FaceTiming, Zooming, playing Xbox with different groups of friends every day. You know, I know we're all stuck at home, but we're never alone. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the teachers and administrators out there who are finding alternative ways to help each of their students learn. As a former high school teacher, I know how difficult this is, but I have so much faith in the creativity and ingenuity of our teachers. I know they will find ways for each of their students to learn. Thank you. Remember, we will get through this together. And I just want to take a little time to let everybody know how I've been staying active um, during this time. Um, like many of you, I didn't think that this was ever going to happen, so I never really set up a home gym or anything like that. Um, I you know, live in apartments right in the heart of Nashville, so it's just not a lot of space. I just wanted to give a shout out to all the students out there who have been impacted by this quarantine and who are now adjusting to doing their schoolwork and training from home. While we're all stuck inside on quarantine, Driving and training is obviously a great way to keep your skills sharp, but I've also been using this time to try to get someone a little more passionate about hockey who normally couldn't care less. Just want to give a special shout out to all the healthcare workers battling on the front lines. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you all so much. I would also like to thank all the doctors and nurses for all their brave work during these times. I would also like to thank everyone helping feed America through this time. You all are appreciated. Thank you. I do want to make sure everybody understands that by social distancing, by staying together, by keeping in contact with our friends and family, that we will get through this and we will do it together.